everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. And today we are doing our finale of the Who, What, Where project pan. I am really excited. This is a project that is put together by Andrea of the Fantastic Ladies. The Fantastic Ladies is a Facebook group. Everything is linked down below. If you're interested, I know many of you are a part of it already. And I had kind of dived in on this project and I'm actually really proud now that we're like at the end of the <laughs> end of it, how much I got done. It actually, this was kind of like a project pan that started off really slow and then picked up by the end. So I appreciate that. <laughs> I do indeed. So let's dive into my finale. And the first one is who, and we had to pick two products for each of, I don't know what they call them, who, what, where, the W words. <laughs> And so the first one was Frat Boy. And Frat Boy is a blush by the balm. And it's a who, you know, a frat boy is a type of person, just finds a person sometimes. And after using this for probably two months, <laughs> two months out of the five, it was a five month project, but I had a couple other blushes in, I have not hit pan. <laughs> um, when you guys said this was hard to go through, you are extremely right. <laughs> I, it was such a joke trying to use this. I do have this on my cheeks today, but I am nowhere near here to hitting pan on this. Um, but it definitely looks used now, so bonus. <laughs> bonus for it finally being used. I also had this Napoleon Paradis Loose Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Pink Champagne. And I have this on my inner corner today. It's that little shine right there. And I am just glad that I have used this. This is extremely hard to measure. But it was brand new when I started, it was right up there. And you can see now, as I turn it, like, do you see how there's a big gap there? It comes all the way down here. Now it's all the way up to the top. <laughs> but like, there is use, like this is all empty now and that's really good. I think I probably used about 25% of this. If I'm completely honest with you, I think about 25%. But I wasn't expecting to use it up. I'm just glad I used it. Um, I was kind of hoping to see like maybe even use down, but that's not the reality of this product. <laughs> but I used about 25% and that actually to me is a win because for what I had another pink loose eyeshadow. <laughs> this is the Kaylin Just Mineral Eye Polish in the shade Orchid. And um, you can actually see the first month I had this big movement and it was wrong. I obviously measured it wrong, but I really am right there now. Um, so that's, I think that's like a pretty good progress. Again, I'm switching it off, you know, like I was using this one week, then this one week, then this one week, then this one week. So I think if I used off even 50%, this is what probably another 25%-ish gone. So I used 50% of an eyeshadow. I'm really impressed with that. As you guys know, eyeshadows take me forever to go through and I'm just really pleased that that happened. <laughs> The other what I did finish up, it was the NYX Curvaceous Mascara. So I used it for three months and then I recycled it. It went to uh, the good home, the trash can. For when I am decluttering something. So this is the Infinite Eyeshadow in um, the Formula X. This used to be sold at Sephora, it's no longer in existence, but it is in the shade Infinite. I ended up just not wanting to wear this nail polish. I didn't like it, the way it looked on my nails. Like the color is beautiful in the bottle, but didn't look great on me. It shipped really easily. I wasn't a fan of the formula. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. I'm hoping somebody else will find that they like it a little bit better than I do. So yay for another nail polish out of the collection. For the other when I had Sunrise, and it was in this Ulta Quad here, and I wanted to hit pan on it, and there it is. There's the pan. So it's actually funny, after the last update, I probably used this three more times. The first time I used it, I hit pan, and the second two times, I just expanded the pan. So I was one use away <laughs> from that last video. And since I used it three other times, and I hit pan, I made my goal. I'm just so excited. I put this away, <laughs> back into my collection until the next time I want to use it. So yay, I'm really excited I hit my goal on that. And then for wear, excuse me if I keep looking down, I finished up the small sample of the perfume, the Cote d'Azur perfume from Orbe that is complete. I do still have the Bauhaus liquid lipstick by Kat Von D. I have not touched this since the last update to be completely honest with you. Um, I've just felt kind of defeated by 
this liquid lipstick because I probably used it 20 times and there's no use on it. So I just, I just want to use more and different lip products. I'm not even wearing it today for this update. That's how much I don't want to use this anymore, but I don't want to throw it away for some weird way. Like for some reason I'm still attached to this product, so I'm not willing to throw it away yet, but it probably should go soon. But not right now, apparently. But there we go. So I used up three products. I decluttered one. I hit goal on one <laughs> other than what I used up. So that's not too shabby. Four out of eight, I met my goal on. That's not too bad. And I'm still really proud of those two pink eyeshadows. Yeah, my goal was to use them up, but like that really wasn't reality <laughs> where I was today and how I use makeup. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you to the fantastic ladies. Thank you to Andrea for letting me join in. It was really fun, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.